Well, welcome to our Midweek Connection. I'm Rev. Art Moore, and I'm the pastor at Centenary United Methodist Church in Louisiana, Missouri, and Clarksville United Methodist Church in Clarksville, Missouri. Our scripture reading today for our lesson comes from John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. And it says, Let to all, Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. And the title for my lesson today is, Is Christmas Really Over? You know, it hasn't even been a week since we were celebrating opening gifts and eating a huge Christmas dinner. What is left of the Christmas celebration? A trash full of used wrapping paper and empty boxes. Some of you may have already taken down the Christmas tree and all the decorations and put them away for another year. Some may wait until after New Year's Day to put all the decorations away. At that time, Christmas is over and our lives have returned to normal. It is back to work for the adults and back to school for the children. Yes, Christmas is over, at least for another year. No, wait, is it really over? Is that all there is to Christmas? Is it just a time for parties, giving gifts to friends and family, and a brief period of peace on earth, goodwill toward men? Surely there is more to it than that. Well, our Bible readings today reveals the true meaning of Christmas. The Bible says that the Word became flesh and came to live among us. The word that the Bible is talking about is Jesus. He came full of unfailing love, and we have seen his glory. We have seen the glory of God's only begotten Son. What did you get for Christmas? No doubt you received some toys and clothes, but the most important gift of any of us received was Jesus who came to earth as a gift from God to those who received him and believe in his name. He gave the right to become the children of God. Jesus came to the world, but many did not recognize him. For those who do not know the Savior, Christmas is over. But for those of us who receive the gift of the Father, Christmas goes on all year long. Isn't that the best gift any of us could re have received for Christmas? The gift of Jesus. There's one thing I've learned about Christmas gifts. No matter how much you enjoy receiving them, they just don't last forever. If you got nice new clothes, eventually they'll wear out. Maybe they'll even go out of style or you'll just outgrow them. Even if you got a fun toy you really enjoy, eventually it could break or you'll grow tired of it. Maybe you got candy in your stocking, but when you eat it, that's right, it's just gone, isn't it? But Jesus is eternal. He is forever in our hearts. I will hope you will remember always that the real Christmas is never over. Let's pray. Let's bow our head, close our eyes, and fold our hands as we pray to Jesus. Dear Jesus, I pray that we won't get so caught up in the Christmas celebrations 
that we miss the real meaning of Christmas. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. I want to wish you a happy new year and pray that you will stay safe and may the Lord continue to bless your lives.